It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Let me set the stage on this end of it. Um, because everything now, now anybody that's listened to the show for a minute knows that indeed indeed is lower than any ranking we gave ourselves for how well we do at driving. I just I I have a oh, it's not like a love hate with Indeed. It's just like a an appreciation and a hate for Indeed was is maybe the best way to put it. Um but what they're so they used to be like auction style, right? Where you didn't really know what you were getting. You just knew you were putting money in and you got so many clicks and whatever. And and now they're switching to like it's going to cost this much for a click and it's it's less of an auction thing. It's just do you want to buy this thing or not? And holy shit, does it feel like Home Advisor? And and Home Advisor, I watched for the last five to ten years, ever since I've been in the industry, go from like a reputable source to just kind of yeah. a joke and a laughing stock. And like basically like Google just destroyed them, right? Like I don't know anybody anymore. Like there were there were some people clinging on, like if you do this and this with Home Advisor, it can work. And I just don't know anybody. That's out there saying like, yep, I built my business with Home Advisor and I'm crushing it with Home Advisor. Nobody ever. And, and the reason is, I think, and Angie's List did this too. Angie's List used to be a big deal and now they've like disappeared along with Home Advisor and obviously they're working together. Um, but they they forgot that it's the businesses that pay them. And so everything they did catered to their their the end customer and not their customer who's the person paying their bills. And they just alienated all the vendors and the vendors basically mm-hmm. was like, screw you guys, right? And and Indeed seems to be going down a similar path. Like everything they're doing is just like four years behind what Home Advisor did. And it's going to be really interesting to watch if they figure it out or if they literally end up making all the same mistakes. Harvard should do a, a case study on it when they do those Harvard business reviews. There's probably going to be a good case study on this one someday. Uh, but anyway, Sean, take that, that's my preface to... to what I see Indeed doing. Why don't you tell us more about it? Indeed, Indeed will admit that they are more on the candidate side of the equation than the business side. They could care less about the business side to an extent, and they're very verbal about that. They hide nothing about that. And I've looked into starting a job board in the past, and it is exactly that. I got all kinds of businesses I can get on there tomorrow, but it takes a ton of time, a a ton of money and resources to get candidates to get to a job board. So I get that to some extent, but um, I think you can do both. I think you can cater to both and serve both. They just don't do it well at all on the uh, business side of it. So like like you said, Dan, they they have, uh, and and this is still transitioning too. They haven't, um, as, as they do so well, they have not, define this very well as to, you know, exactly who has to do this, when they have to do it, and why they have to do it. So they used to have CPC pricing, which was basically cost per click. And the cost per click might be a buck to five bucks, somewhere in there. That started to creep up in price. And you, didn't, you didn't really know, right? It was just kind of like, it was right. kind of auction style in a way. Well, you, you, you posted a job and, and when they applied, you got the information, but you, you had no idea who was applying and you had to pay for it. So and what they're the moving way, to now- what, This is what this one cost you. <laughs> you yeah, actually found yeah. out after the fact, right? Yeah, so it was a lower cost, but it was it was probably, in their view, a lower quality product, right? So yeah, that's yeah. why the cost was so much lower. And they're they're trying to move to a, what they're calling a PPA pricing model, which is a, a pay per application. So you don't pay for anything until the applicant actually applies and then which they just go apply 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 and then you call them and they're like oh what job that's 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 exactly (laughs) the situation i mean think about it there you're now paying 18 to 35 40 dollars for an application the assumption is to both your points well that should be a higher quality so we should be able to charge more for that i mean the reality is and, and they do allow some screening before you buy it, uh, but they're knockout questions. Like, you know, do you have a pulse? Are you working in the United States? Do you have a valid driver's license? And that somehow qualifies you as a, as a better qualified, you know, lead that we can charge you a hundred times more for is, is a little bit strange to me. But um, so, so it costs a lot more to get a, possibly a little bit better quality, maybe. Um, their screening isn't very good. 
I'm more in the camp of, I don't care who you are. I don't even want to look at your resume. Come on in my system. And if you're properly screening them on an online application with proper questions, that's the screening. That's what you care about. I'd rather just pay a dollar and let 10,000 people come in and let my screening process do its job. I don't need Indeed to give me some generic template of a screening that might work for every single business, corporation, small business, and everything in between. I just don't need that. That's not that's not serving us well, in my view. I think it works okay for some people, it doesn't for others, but it definitely, without doubt, is more expensive. What do you what are the alternatives? Obviously, like there's other job boards, but indeed still and this is this is back to maybe where indeed strategy is right now which is, this is just like what angie's listed which is indeed owns the consumer in this case they own the candidate and so that's why they don't give a shit about us as the business owners obviously that eventually backfired on angie's list because google came in and said well we care about both and we'll figure out how to make it so that businesses can buy them in a reasonable way and we already know we own the consumer because we're google um What's the alternatives to Indeed? I mean, we're still going to use Indeed to some extent, but it makes other sources way more competitive now, it seems like. Well, one of the other things that happened at this exact same time that we were a little concerned with was that Facebook announced that they were no longer going to allow job postings. And that was the general consensus of what was out there. And there, the strange thing was, there wasn't a hell of a lot that came out from Facebook describing what they meant by that. Is there an alternative to that? And there were no real, uh, there were hardly any blogs or anything even writing about it. And it was so, it was a really strange situation to have both major platforms like that telling you that they're changing things and one saying you can't post a job on it anymore well that's not the reality google uh, or uh, facebook was getting sued because you're allowed to choose an age group that you want to target and you're allowed to um do male or female and target which you know is insane if you think about that they would even allow that in the first place right <laughs> yeah. i mean it's just insane that's how out of touch these these huge platforms are with employment stuff they're just so out of touch um, now you're allowed to do it. You just can't. They, the only thing they changed is that you can't say male or female and you can't say the old people can't work for me. That's basically what it's changed. And so, which is fine, right? That doesn't make much of a difference. So we can still post jobs on Facebook. Um, I still, I still would tell people out there in certain parts of the country and i'll try to get more data on this to be able to get more specific on what parts of the country and maybe what job titles and positions but after ZipRecruiter went public and i i never was a big fan of ZipRecruiter for blue collar uh very much at all in the past and we tried it a number of times and tweaked some things and it just wasn't working but there are clients of ours right now that are uh, that we are posting on zip recruiter and it's working phenomenally well like really? and fast and fast yep nice so i they changed a lot of different things when they went public they had when they went public and they did and they teamed up with some things with google um they, you will see zip recruiter on google for jobs you won't see indeed because when you when you see the platform google for jobs it will list the top three jobs that Google's algorithms thinks that job seeker is searching for. So it's a matching game like everything else. If you'll look underneath that, if you ever look into Google for jobs, it'll it, it's telling you where it scraped that job from. So it could be on ZipRecruiter, it found it. It could be on Facebook. It could be on all these other salary.com and all these other little job boards that are out there. But you won't see it on Indeed because Indeed doesn't play ball with Google. So Google doesn't play ball with them. I I feel like ZipRecruiter hitched their wagon to the right company, and and then like I think it needs to kind of totally go home advisor Angie's list on this whole thing. It just seems like they're just literally fine. from your mouth to God's ear. It's just <laughs> going to be so funny to watch. Uh, it'll be fun to watch. Hey, what's up, business nerd? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned a heck of a lot watching that episode. Do me a favor, subscribe right down here, and if you really like what you saw. You got more goods right here. Check out this one or check out this one and do this. Go subscribe. Appreciate you. Work smarter, work harder. Go earn yourself some pride. Catch you on the next one.